All right, so today I wanna to just do a real quick test of the Flux1 dev image generation model on a local machine, which I'm assuming a lot of us have the capability to do. So this machine is just running it on a single NVIDIA 3090 Ti, and I am using the Swarm UI from McMonkey Projects on GitHub. So first and foremost, this model's ability to do text seems to be absolutely fantastic. And that's one of the things that actually made me convinced to download this and check it out. Number two is that it actually seems to do pretty well in terms of human anatomy. So fingers seem to be something that it is actually capable of pulling off. So I'm just gonna go through a few different kind of examples here and I'll fast forward as the generation for this takes about 50 seconds using 40 steps at 1024 by 1024. And my prompts are nothing super detailed, but we'll just kind of go with some random things. So, All right, so we can see here, I just have a mirror selfie of an attractive person in a Victorian style outfit with a visible parrot on the person's shoulder and text on the mirror that says, employees must wash hands before returning to work. So this is definitely uh, a lot to ask for. <laughs> All right, so here is, <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on this. Employee must wash hand before returning to work. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, this is mm, maybe a little off, but the arrow pointing to the person is interesting. Let's, let's analyze this Victorian outfit. Now, being that I know nothing about the actual attire that was worn in that time period, um, this looks correct to me based off of what I've seen in movies. And of course we have the parrot, which <laughs> the parrot looks awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, as you zoom in, things start to just get pixelated, but, and it, it did actually have a, there's a gold surround around the mirror, perhaps that's some form of Victorian thing. And seeing the background elements in this is actually pretty cool. So <laughs> the, the parrot is, <laughs> all right. So I'm, I'm okay with this. Let's do, All right, so let's just try a very realistic photo that can be used for a Tinder profile. Oh, and quickly, I, I'm one, two, three, four, and then thumb, so five. One, two, three, uh, that's, uh, all right, so this hand, very good. This hand, I'm um, just <laughs> not gonna comment what that looks like, cause I'll, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> Um, maybe maybe the parrot bit off the uh, the tip of that finger. Oh wow! All right, so damn, this actually does not look bad. I notice a lot of times with AI generated people, they just look super oily. This one is is no different, but I mean, look at the actual like the detail on the skin is not something I've seen before in some of the other models just i mean you you can actually almost see like this looks like human-esque detail in in skin as well as the way the hair is kind of flowing it's not just one perfect kind of head of hair there's strands flowing and things like that the eyes are pretty symmetrical the hair formation in the eyebrows is very impressive the pupils are are perhaps a bit cat-like but that could also be part of the reflection that is showing from the actual, um, what's that part of the eye called? The, not the iris, but the, I don't know, the, the 
greenish orange part here. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is solid. Now let's uh, let's test its text generation abilities again. I have no idea where that came from, but I just want to kind of see it doing some text. All right, well, that was not at all what I... Hmm. All right, so this obviously is not legible, but I will say that the actual formation of the letters is fantastic. So let's just, in, instead of trying to read it like it's sentences, let's just see if we can pull out words. So path, <laughs> um, uh, tor, in, the, rear, how, and then it gets blurry down here. Um, but this is really, just the actual formation of the letters is fantastic. Really, like this is, is very, very interesting to see. Because other models I've noticed would just kind of like do squiggles in place of this. This is actually demonstrating a, a relatively good grasp of the actual English alphabet. This lead clack. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just try now like one more that's a little more silly and we'll just see. Let's see if it actually gets like 1985 and so on. <laughs> Whoa, this is really good. This is really good. It actually looks like an older photo kind of. Um, I mean, they're all, okay, this must be like a, the, the finance majors having a party, but um, this guy's double fisting, uh, some apple juice and some glasses. The watch is interesting look at the hair on the arms that's really cool the way the shirts folded over i mean if you were to just kind of like look right here this kind of looks like a real photo if you were to just see like a snippet of this um chest hair interesting i don't know what maybe these these are pledges i don't know what's going on here um this look at the way the the shirt drapes over him very realistic here. The buttons are all linear. And of course, I didn't even notice the hands, which speaks to how well that this thing can actually pull that off because there was nothing odd about it. The thumb wraps around the glass here. There's four fingers. Um, even here, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on around here. We'll just assume that's a bracelet. Uh, thumb looks good. Even just the belt, the leather belt, the way that it's actually going under the belt loop that, I mean, very realistic. Maybe some retro style lights, uh, I'm not quite sure. Interesting, really. This is a, uh, that's really solid. Well, that is the quick little demonstration. And just to give a hyper fast overview of how I did this, so this is the stable swarm, or not the stable swarm UI. This is just the swarm UI from McMonkey projects on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. And in order to do this, I downloaded the flux files from Hugging Face, and here's where I place them. So in my directory under the swarm UI folder, initially in models, under UNet, I placed the flux dev model, which you have to get access on Hugging Face, but I, I believe it's automatic approval if you're logged in, because I did that and I was instantly granted access to it. And this is around 24 gigabytes. So I placed that in this folder, and then 
The only other thing that I needed to do, and I believe there are a lot of um, tutorials now on how to do this, is in the VAE folder, I placed this, the AE.SFT, which is 335 megabytes. And that's all I did. And once that was done, I simply launched this. And down here in models, I was able to select it. And I'm doing 1024 by 1024, 40 steps. And each image is taking around 50 seconds to generate. All right.